Hey, what's up guys? Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about creating a virtual tour, okay? Um, and in the previous section of this video series, we talked about the hardware you need and how to actually capture a 360 photo, whether you're using the Ricoh Theta Z1 camera or Insta360 camera or the Trizio. Basically, once you create a 360 photo, now what? How do we create the actual virtual tour, right? We're gonna keep it really simple, okay? Most of these cameras have an app associated with them. Same thing with the Cloud Pano Virtual Tour Creator app that doesn't need a camera. Um, when you just use your phone, when you capture the photo, you can save that photo or that file to your camera roll or to your phone, okay? And it's a very easy way from your phone to get it into the computer, okay? Because this is, you want to build your virtual tour in, in, your, in the computer just to make it look nicer so you really know what you're getting. You have the ability to create a virtual tour entirely mobily with Cloud Pano, but we, but we want to use the Google Street View upload feature. We want to make sure that we're on Google and on Google Maps. So you do that by connecting the business to the virtual tour and when you upload, okay? So the next step is to get the photos from the camera, and I mean, in this case, probably because you downloaded them to the phone, right? So you transfer them to the phone, and then you wanna get them off the phone onto your computer. And once you have that folder or those files of those 360 photos, you can now, you have options. You can upload them right into Cloud Pano and go up to the top right, which is where it says publish, and publish to, to Google Street View, um, and then you just find that cu that customer or your own business listing on Google Maps, make sure you, you, you find the actual listing name, and then you can just connect those uh, 360 photos and click publish, and then a few days later, it's up, it's there. But before we do all that, most of the time, we wanna make sure the photos look amazing, okay? You wanna make sure the photos represent the business well, or your business well, right? So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple options. You can find a third-party editing company, a company that edits photos, this is all they do all, all day long. Oftentimes, those companies are based in Vietnam and Philippines, stuff like that. You just can Google them and they're probably a dollar, two dollars, three dollars a photo. It just depends on you know where they're at, what their expertise is, and how good they are with 360. And they may ask you for a variety of things. They may say, if you send over a JPEG file, just a JPEG image, uh, they may only do a little bit to it, make it look a little bit nicer and send it back to you. Or they may say, hey, do you have the raw files? And so if you shoot raw or you shoot with the DN, uh, shoot dot, it's called dot DNG, or if you shoot uh, with the dual fisheye plugin with, with the Ricoh Data Z1, you may have nine or nine, nine files in one, essentially, and they, this big, huge, large amount of data file you send over to an editor. The editor loves that because they use Photoshop and Lightroom and, and maybe Topaz and other types of Affinity Photo and Photoshop editing softwares. And they take all that data to make the photo look gorgeous, make it look beautiful, okay? Once that happens, they'll send it back to you and they may hand blend it or hand uh, add the hand, all those files together, make sure that they look perfect to the human eye. Um, and so you're gonna get your money's worth by outsourcing to a human being editor. You also have the option of using softwares to automatically edit. So there's automatic editing softwares. Cloud Pan is working on one that you may be able to use by, by the time you see this um, to automatically enhance the photo. Um, or you can use tools like Topaz, um, which is Topaz Labs has a variety of, of, uh, of different softwares to AI image enhance. All about AI these days, AI image enhancement, right? And with those tools, um, you can get lost. You can get lost in a weird, crazy world of Photoshop and Lightroom and Affinity Photo and all these different types types of um, of softwares and it takes many 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 hours to master them and learn them. Um, so I highly recommend just finding someone to do it for you or find an automatic enhancement tool to kind of spruce them up and then make sure you're the highest resolution possible and send them in into Cloud Pano. Okay, and when you send them in there, all you do is create an account at app.cloudpano.com. If you can create an account for free uh, to publish to Google Street View. You want to make sure you subscribe and upgrade, and then upgrade or upload to Google Street View. Connect those photos, and then you have a Google Street View virtual tour. Very simple, not complicated to get it started. But to get those nice photos, you have to use a third-party software like Cloud Pano that integrates with, with with Google Maps. Because if you just use your phone, you may miss out on a lot of those extra 
opportunities to make the photos look beautiful and therefore your business won't even look good. And what's the point of showing off bad photos on the internet? Kind of a waste of time. So let's, we definitely want to do that and take that extra step. Um, you can also hire teams to assemble the virtual tour for you if you really don't want to worry about it. But you got the 360 photos, you're like, hey, I got these photos. Can you build it for me? Cloud Panel has a service just like that. Real simple, we'll upload it for you, it's no problem. And you can just send us the files and we'll do it. That's how you get started. That's how you create a virtual tour. That's, just, that's what you need for, for software, right? So, so you think about like what the file is essentially a digital file, okay? Once it's 360 full, uh, photo, once you have that file, you can do a lot of stuff. You can outsource the editing, you can send it through AI image enhancement softwares, or you can just upload directly from Cloud Pano on the Google Street View and connect that business, okay? So that's the flow, that's how it works. And you'll notice, like, and you'll, you'll feel like, man, it's actually really simple. Like Zach's talking about all these different things. The reality is I just upload some photos. It looked decent. I'm happy. The customer's happy. Everybody's happy, right? Over time, you can work on optimizing like the image quality, the image, image enhancement software as you use. You know, that can definitely come later. But for now, let's just get one up and get it published. That's what I did for my first one. I called a, a buddy said, hey buddy, I want to come shoot your place. I want to come put on, on, on street view of, of, of the interior. I'm gonna say, he said, sure, what's it gonna cost? I said, it's nothing, man, we're buddies. Let's go, I just want to do it. I said, cool. So I got the experience. He got the virtual tour for free. It was all really, really good stuff. That's how that works. We can go into more de detail in the future about exactly how to upload the, on the Google Street View, but overall it's simple. I have other videos that can help you with that. So hope this is helpful, keeping it simple. Now let's go grow the business in the next videos. See you there.